Hello everyone, Lisa here. Welcome to What's Crafting Wednesday. Uh, let's just jump in and start with our drawing from last week's cards. I have the two celebration friendly hello cards. I got it right. I still say this stamp set should have been called Hello Friend so that I uh, wouldn't get confused. But friendly hello. And sadly, celebration is over. Okay, let's pick our winner from last week's cards. All right. And we have Carol. Well, congratulations, Carol. Okay, everyone. Um, I believe it was two weeks ago we did a uh, open panel card. And it was done in landscape format so tonight we're going to do one in portrait format just so that you have the measurements of how to make the card uh, we'll be using the timeless tulip stamp set and this gorgeous flowering fields DSP from the mini catalog the January to June mini catalog so I also thought it would be nice to pair something new with something old the uh, beautiful DSP is in the mini catalog, and the Timeless Tulips is in the annual catalog. So I will put this stamp set off to the side, and this is the card we'll be making. And the envelope. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but I uh, used Wink of Stella on the tulips. And I can tell you in real, they are shimmery and beautiful. Okay, and my card packet here. I have a basic white envelope. And I have a piece of basic white for the inside, which we will put off to the side for now. And for the DSP, I have two pieces and they are cut at four by three and a quarter and four by one. And then for our stamping, I have basic white and layering with pumpkin pie and evening evergreen. And these are cut at one and three quarters by, did I write it down? Oh, I didn't write it down. Uh, one and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then the pumpkin pie is two by four. And the evening evergreen is two and a quarter by four and a quarter. So these uh, measurements will all be up on my, um, under the video once we're done tonight. And for the card base, uh, we have the bottom piece, which is four and a quarter by one and a quarter. And we have four and a quarter by one and a quarter, four and a quarter by one and a quarter. And then the card base is four and a quarter by nine. And we're going to score this at five and a half. So let's just bring this in. And that is all of our scoring. And we'll just fold on the score line. And I'll put this off to the side for the time being. Put my card over here. And we'll get started with the stamping. We will be using pumpkin pie and evening evergreen and wink of Stella. And we'll be using the 2021 to 2023 in color jewels for embellishing. And I think that covers all the supplies for tonight. So let's get started stamping. Now what I did with this, I stamped the larger tulip first, just so I had the right placement. I didn't want, if I did the stem first, I was worried the flower might end up too high, too low. So on this one, I stamped the flower first, and then I added the stem. So we'll just ink this up in some pumpkin pie here. And then just eye it so it's near the top. 
You want to have a little space though. You don't want it right up at the top. And then I'm going to do the stems in Evening Evergreen. Um, I double mounted them. So when you do this, you do just have to be careful when you're stamping to uh, make sure you can see through in the other side. So I'm just going to stamp this straight up into the center of the tulip. And then I'm going to ink the other side. And then I'm just going to eye it so that uh, this tulip comes down lower and this stem here is the curved one. And then we'll do the leaves. And again, it's just eyeing. I just want a little bit of leaf coming up here. And then a little bit more on the other side. And then we will do the smaller tulip. And then I just tilted it. Oops. Oh, I didn't make up good. Can I cover this again? Let me see. I may have to put my head in there to see if I can get this lined up. Perfect. And now we will start the card assembly. First, we'll be adding the DSP. Oh, there's my little piece. And I'm using Tombow. It always goes quickly. And then we'll add the piece onto the other section of the card. And then I'll just put this to the side for a moment. While I have the glue out, I might as well continue assembling. We'll put these pieces together. It's our stamped basic white piece onto the pumpkin pie. And then onto the evening evergreen. So since we had the Facebook Live two weeks ago with the landscape version of this card. Has anyone made this card? I know that Carol did. Has anybody else made it since then? Let me know if you have. And then next we will do the stamping for the inside of the card. And in case you didn't watch the last video or you need a little refresher maybe, um, I don't attach this actually until I stamp it just in case uh, something goes wrong. So I just put my pieces down. And then for placement, I'm going to put this just so I know where to stamp my little sentiment. And then I will put the ink pad over it to hold it down. And I'm just going to stamp a little hello in there. You can use any sentiment, anything that fits in. Uh, last time we did happy birthday. And now we just need to assemble the rest of the card. So we will add the inside first. And of course, if you wanted, you could uh, do more stamping on the inside. You could add a little strip of DSP. If there was anything you wanted to do to dress it up a little more. And now 
Now for the placement in the front here, you want to make sure that you have this piece on the bottom of the card. And then I always put something on here to hold it. And then with this, I'm going to put a strip of tear and tape along the bottom. Make sure that is the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to add Tombow. So I'm just going to put a tiny little line of Tombow here because I know from eyeing it that I'll need a little more. And then you just kind of eye here so you know where to start to put your, your glue on the top. Just remember when you make this card not to, not to put adhesive on the whole piece. And then it basically is just eyeing so you know where you want it. So you have it, uh, you know, pretty much even on, you know, top and bottom. Very easy. And then we will do the envelope. So with this, I um, stamped the, the same thing, the flowers and the stems and the leaves. But I did do the flower first again, just for placement. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't too high up on the card. Because you do the stem first and it's a little hard to envision. So I put my flower where I thought was a good spot. Not too high up because if you mail it, you do want to be able to put your return address up there. And again, I'll put that off to the side and now we'll do the leaves and the stems. So again, first I'm going to do the straight stem for this flower. And then I will add the curved stem. And then the leaves. And just like before, I just wanted to put that one with a little smaller leaf. And then make this side a little higher. And then we will add the smaller tulip. And now let the shimmer begin. I use the Wink of Stella and I went along the lines that you could see in, in the stamped image. So I just put the Wink of Stella up along the lines. And then I also did the outline of the flowers. And the same thing here, I just brought it up along those lines. And around the outline. And then as I looked at it, I said, I think the stem and leaf should shimmer as well. So I just brought some shimmer up here and in here and around the leaves. Oh, so pretty. And I just want to clean this off in case I have any green ink on it. And now, of course, we will do the envelope as well. You know, I'm just always so amazed what a little bit of Wink of Stella can do to a project. And the Wink of Stella, I don't know, it, it lasts a long time. It never seems to run out. 
and then we'll just go along the stems and the leaves. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know. We'll hold this up, but I don't know if you will actually be able to see that shimmer. And the last remaining thing to do is a little bit of embellishing. So I have the gems here, and I used, uh, this is Evening Evergreen. This one here is Pale Papaya, um, but it, it does look nice with the card. I didn't have any pumpkin pie gems. I'm not even certain there are any pumpkin pie gems. If anyone knows the answer to that question, please let me know. Otherwise, I will check the catalog and, and see. So I mix the um, larger and the smaller. And that, my friends, is our portrait open panel card for this evening. So again, uh, all the measurements will be up uh, under the video in just a few moments. I'll just go in and, and edit everything when we're done here. So let me know what you think about tonight's card. And also, again, let me know if you have made the style card since our last uh, Facebook Live. So thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I hope everybody has a wonderful and crafty week. Um, if you have any questions about tonight's card, leave them in the comments. I will get back to you. And I look forward to seeing you back here next week. Okay, everyone. Until then, enjoy. Bye.